I remember reading this sketch and thinking, what, what is it of today? What of it today? <laughs> and when we were filming it, I said to the director, you need to shout cut really, really loudly as soon as, where is it to go to? Because, like, in actual measurements, the paranoia I had, partly for my indignity, but mainly for the boys. <laughs> like, stand in there. You in, give me your elbow. Oh, yeah. How are you doing? Thanks for coming. Hello, Greg. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Christie. Hey, Rab, hey. come on, have a seat. Come into the hoofs. Let's read through some really offensive stuff and uh, see if we get cancelled. I go together with the Fat Pack to read some sketches and talk about where they came from and to find out how the bleep we got away with them. Exterior ice cream van day. An ice cream vendor is serving an older boy and a younger boy. There you are. That's a 99. And a bottle of Iron Brew. You should we pal that? The younger boy whispers to the older boy. They both laugh. <laughs> he's he's, he's wanting to scratch your fanny. The ice cream vendor has a think. She puts both hands on her skirt and slowly raises it. The two boys stare in shock. The younger boy drops his bottle of iron brew. It smashes on the ground. The ice cream vendor gives the boys a nod before heading to the driver's seat. The ice cream van drives off. The boys are frozen in disbelief. <laughs> I remember reading this sketch and thinking, what, what is it of today? What of it today? <laughs> and when we were filming it, I said to the director, you need to shout cut really, really loudly as soon as, where is it to go to? Cos, like, in actual measurements, the paranoia I had, partly for my indignity, but mainly for the boys. <laughs> like, standing there. But, um, am I right in saying, was there, was there an, a line taken out of the sketch? The original, she, she lifts up her skirt and then she says, do you want a flake in that? Do you want a flake in that, yeah. <laughs> and that's when our executive producer, you and steps in and says, I think we're all right without that line. For the good of the nation. <laughs> I, th I think that just nudged it beyond the pale. Yeah. I would say in BBC terms, um, it, it was more out there than, than anything else that was, that was on television at the time. And there's no doubt the Scottish audience is more forgiving. The choice mix of language, children and innuendo means that there is no way you could make that sketch now. But it hasn't been cut out of the repeats. And that's because the BBC high agents feel that the audience's affection for it outweighs it all. Despite everything, this sketch has become a national treasure.